So this question looks like it is a translate word problem question. And all that means is I want to write down um, quantitative information and any other relevant information as I read instead of reading the whole thing and then having to go back and find that information. So the question says a solution is formed by adding M grams of propylene glycol. So I'll say M and then the G here is for grams. And I'll just say PG for propylene glycol to 100 grams of water. So we're adding it. So I'm going to just put a plus 100 grams H2O for water. For this solution, the freezing point in kelvins is modeled by the function T of M. So again, freezing point means we're dealing, we're dealing with temperature. M, we already have been told, is grams of propylene glycol. So the freezing point temperature, based upon the number of grams of propylene glycol, is right in kelvins, right? So in kelvins, not Fahrenheit or Celsius is modeled by this 273.2 minus 0.327 M. Which of the following is the best interpretation of the statement T of 22 is approximately equal to 266? T 22 is approximately equal to 266 in this context. So first of all, based upon what we've already read, when I see this statement as is, and based upon what we know about this equation, and what we know about the M value, it looks like it's saying, if we have 22 grams of PG in this solution, that's formed by adding M grams of PG, then the freezing point temperature, right, this T of 22, the freezing point temperature in Kelvin's should be 200, should be 266, 266. So hopefully that makes sense. If I add 22 grams of propylene glycol, I should get a freezing point temperature that's equal to 200 or approximately equal to 266 degrees Kelvin. So answer choice A says a solution formed by adding 22 grams of propylene glycol to 100 grams of water has an estimated freezing point of 266. So this is exactly what I just said, so I'm really loving that answer. But I could be wrong, right? So I'm gonna definitely read the other ones to see if there's something better. B, a solution formed by adding 266 grams. No, 266 is definitely not grams. 266 is definitely temperature, so that's out. Choice C, for every 22 grams of propylene glycol added to 100 grams of water, the freezing point of the solution is estimated to decrease by 266. Um, that sounds kind of good, but then the whole decrease by 266 doesn't fit with what they told us this formula actually represents. This formula represents the actual freezing point, not uh, how much the freezing point decreases. So for that reason, C is gone. Choice D, for every 266 grams of propylene glycol, no, again, 266 is not a number of grams. That is for sure. 22 is the number of grams, not 266, so D is gone. So I like A even better now, right? So the answer I would go with here is choice A.